Well, no one but I'd say he probably wants you to kill somebody. Harry W. Rosen happens to be one of the richest men in the state. He's a liberal and he's a Jew. I want him killed. Never seen such a bunch of prejudiced guys in all my life. I want Elwood on a murder conspiracy, man. I think he means what he's saying. You're not dealing with an amateur, boys. I do this thing for a living. John X-ray Paul, to take it all home with you, wouldn't you? Man, I sure would. I know the feeling. I've had it myself for about the last 40 years. You the gunsmith? Owner, gunsmith, all of it. Yeah, can you fix a magazine? Seems to me I've done one or two. What kind you got? M62. Have a brew? Nah, not right now. I got something to show you. You ever see one of these? Lousy action. Japanese Arasaka, 6.5 millimeter. Souvenir. Took it off a sniper in Okinawa. Man, he required killing that boy did. Five AP rounds from a BAR. Listen, um, when are you going to level with me about this magazine here, huh? Ain't it busted? No, it's busted, all right. But it don't belong to any M62. This is Smizer magazine. It belongs to a chopper. Look, I can care less. When it comes to machine guns, I've got what you might call a very liberal attitude. If it was legal, I'd give one to my granddaughter for Christmas. <laughs> What do you know, people? Well, I didn't expect you for at least a week. Well, you either produce or you don't. Isn't that what life's all about? The production of this, the production of that? What did we agree on? We're not gonna go through all that again, are we, Norm? I might even beat you out of an extra dime or two. Mm. And that would ruin your whole day. <laughs> See you, Norm. There's the bugger. The vent follower spring. No wonder it wouldn't feed. Hmm. Can you fix it? Well... I'd think about it, if I thought you were being square with me. You see, I deal in trust. I always like the security of knowing people are being honest with me before I do a job like that. Okay, it's a chopper, man. That what you want to hear? What difference does it make? Lousy thing's got a hole board in the chamber. It won't fire anyway. Those smiters make an awful sweet sound. Sure hate to own one that wouldn't pop. Just about drive me out of my mind. <laughs>
Where's your Fargo, man? 20 minutes into the case and you've already deserted your post. Where's the wire, man? We couldn't hear a damn thing. Testing. One, two, three. How's that? <laughs> it's hilarious. You need a new one. It's not the unit, old buddy. There's a lot of metal all over the place. Solid concrete. No wire in the world's gonna work in there. That's nice to know. Swallow the bait? Well, he's gonna fix the Schmeiser. I'm sure he deals. Every time he talks about machine guns, his eyes light up like dollar signs. What about the hippie kid with the box hose in it? Stolen jungle fatigues. Scholler bought him for $50. Besides the rest of it, he's probably commander-in-chief of his own personal little army. No, you're wrong. Scholler's just a number two boy. A real Han show is a guy by the name of Bud somebody. Well, why didn't you tell us that before? Is it okay if I smoke? Sure, Lewis, go ahead. Uh, you, uh, you wouldn't be holding out on us, would you, Lewis? Hmm. Swear to God, Lieutenant. Because the last time I got the distinct impression that you told us that Shola was given all the orders. The problem is I never actually saw the other creep. So, uh, I guess maybe I just didn't want to give you guys anything that was just hearsay. Where'd you get your law degree? <laughs> oh, three or four institutions. Can I keep it back? How about trying to remember Bud's last name? I never heard it, even when they were drunk. All I do know, he's supposed to have one of the best gun collections in the state. They go to big parties at his place, big wild blasts somewhere up in some canyon. <laughs> yeah, so what's the joke? Maybe you guys are too fast this time busting me. I was just getting to know those dummies. See, to get invited to Bud's parties, you got to be one of the boys. You got to do something to uh, prove yourself. And that's why I threw the dynamite through that spade's front window. Last time you said you did it because Shola agreed to give you an M2 carbine. Well, part of it was for the carbine, and part was to pass the test. Is that what you think those other bombings are all about? Maybe they just did it for kicks. You see, they... Black folks, worse than anybody in the world. Never seen such a bunch of prejudiced guys in all my life. You know what I mean? Sure, Lewis. We dig you all the way. When are you going to take it in? Probably tomorrow, right after I get the chamber drill. What about the Fargo thing? Who's worried about it, Jack Ballard? I hate to have you go in there alone without a Fargo. Not when you're dealing with that kind of mentality. I'll be okay. You're gonna have to have a partner. Jack Ballard? He's the only other weapons expert I've got. Yeah, but he can't act his way out of a phone booth. You're gonna have to have a Merle. Man, I'd trade my old lady in on something like this. Who'd water? <laughs> all right, all right, you guys. You can have your troubles. I got enough of my own. Hey, Johnny. Take a look at this. Ever see a beauty like that? 22-250. Nice weapon. Nice weapon. How far could you hit a squirrel? Oh, a couple hundred yards. How about a spade? How far could you hit a spade with that thing? Oh, four. Maybe 500 on a good day. You ever do it before? You ever kill one? Not for sport, if that's what you mean. Hey, you guys, I almost forgot. Right after I opened up this morning, in come these two bucks. Suit, ties, you know, the mean look, the whole bit. You know, they figure they can intimidate you, like they own the place. Well, finally, one of them just about tells me I got to make a donation to this coon organization I never even heard of. <laughs> Probably don't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just finished putting together that old 22250 there, and I casually swing it around, and I said, my donation's in the chamber of this piece here, baby. <laughs> 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 they both turned around and marched out of here like they were going to a fire sale. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, what's wrong, man? Don't you think that's funny? You know, I'll take bets he's never killed nothing before in his life. Nothing more than a ladybug. Anytime you want to test me, all you got to do is step right up, old buddy. Hey, bad man. I got your Spicer mag trick. Why don't you broadcast it on the radio, Norm? Well, you can trust them. They're good friends of mine. They're good old boys. <laughs> <laughs> Good as the day it was made. Fantastic. What about that other dealie? You bring that with you? Well, they boarded all right. That's what the pigs call a DWOD. Deactivated war souvenir. It'd fire, but you'd get a jet of hot gas in your face. Now, all we got to do is enlarge it, thread it, and put a blank tap in it. After it's heliarched, it'll be just as strong as the rest of the chamber, maybe even stronger. <laughs> you're a genius, Norm. You haven't told me what sort of business you're in, Johnny. Specialty work. Know what this is? Cambodia? That's right. Cambodian visa. Buddy and me got us a little contract waiting over there. You wouldn't be uh, interested in picking up a couple of more choppers, would you? Good ones? Russian PPSH is 41s. Yeah, what price? Well, I can get you three, as a matter of fact. Sweet talk me a little, and I might swing for an even grant. When? Just as soon as you can come up with the bread. OK, uh, I'll have to do a little digging. Make it tomorrow night after you close. Be alone. They might be your friends, but I don't trust them as far as I could throw this building. Fella wants to buy your choppers, bud. Thought I told you to be alone. Looks like you're kind of in a bad position, Johnny. We take that grand you got in your pocket, what are you gonna do? Tell the police you came here to buy machine guns? I won't have to. I noticed the pins out, boys. Oh, and I changed the fuse. Uh, it's set to blow instantaneously. I think he's bluffing. I think you are, Johnny. You're betting your life on it, man. Norm? I don't know this gentleman as well as you do, but if you want my opinion, I think he means what he's saying. You're not dealing with an amateur, boys. I'd do this for a living. Oh, come on, Johnny. We were just trying to see if you had a sense of humor. Come over here. Something I want to show you. Take a look. Where are you going to find three little beauties like these, huh? Test fire them if you want to. They look okay to me. I understand you do specialty work. Listen, I'm having a uh, barbecue out at my place this Sunday. If you could find the time to drop by, I, uh, I think you might enjoy it.
Who's it? Daddy. Daddy, Daddy. How are you doing, sweetheart? Are you going to be at my recital, Daddy? Your what? My dancing recital. When is it, darling? Friday. This Friday? I don't know. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. Kisses. <laughs> Hi, where are you? Pat. Was everything okay? Uh, you know. Uh, how long is it going to last? Not sure. It's too soon to say. I probably won't be calling you from here anymore. Oh, I see. I don't think anyone knows where I am, but I just don't want to take the chance. Oh, I see. Uh, listen, the, um, the, the dance recital is a, is a week from Friday, in case you're interested. You know I am. Goodbye, love. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Walks around with hand grenades in his pocket. Never guess we taught him. Well, you should have taught him how to have a sense of humor. He still thinks we're trying to rip him off. <laughs> hey, where's Bud? I don't know. Inside, I guess. He had his social or something? No, Bud, he's a funny guy. You know, he'll he'll throw a party like this sometimes and not even show up. Are right, you drunken coyote? What do you say we get started, huh? S1 to S4, they're moving. That's a Roger. Black, a hippie, and a commie pinko. Did I hear right on those targets? You did. Yeah, well, Charlie Connors, he makes them for us at his paint shop. Should have seen the time he painted some women targets for us. Lots of detail. I, I took one home. My old lady near threw me off the house. Hey, hey, who's up? <laughs> yeah. Let her rip! <laughs> I'd give my life for a 50 caliber machine gun right now. Hey, Norm, how do you get away with it? What? You must be disturbing the peace for 20 square miles around here. We're a legally constituted gun club. Nothing they can do about it. Including the cops. They're too chicken to come up here anyway. OK, you hand some hot shot. Let's just see how good you are. Don't you get nervous now, just because everybody's watching you. <laughs> I do it for you, sport? Hey, that's very good. Best shooting I've seen all year. All right, come on. <laughs> I'm so sure I could do that myself. But Elwood, uh, it's a friend of mine, Steve Fletcher. How do you do? Figured you wouldn't mind if I brought him along. He and I are business partners. Let's get in out of the sun. I want to talk to you guys. All right, let's get cracking. But I'm not kidding you. This is really fantastic. I thought you'd like it. Nothing adds more character to a place than a wall of guns. If person knew that, he could make himself a fortune being an interior decorator. Is that what you do, old buddy? Just odd jobs like you. Come on, you haven't seen anything yet.
Oh, that's nice, bud. Nice little shop you got. Maybe one of you experts can help me. I got one little character here. Been giving me problems. Oh, Danish Madsen, huh? Yeah. But I've been having trouble loading it. Uh, you got any ammo? I've been trying to figure out that sucker for over a year now. I sat here and fiddled with it till I felt like wrapping it around a tree. Simple once you know the secret. Had one of those in Africa once. Sold to a Dutch mercenary for a carton of cigarettes and a plane ticket back to Leopoldville. You're a cop. I knew it the minute I saw you. Yeah, bud, you flipped it. You think so, huh? I don't know what you're talking about, bud. Pigs have a stink I can smell 10 miles away. You think I'd be hanging around with a cop? I just asked for yourself the same question. You think I'd be taking some lousy cop with me to Cambodia? Truth is, I don't know too much about you either, do I, Johnny? Now, that's the second time you've had a gun on me, bud. I know it is. <clears throat> I was an MP in the Army. Is that what you smell? Yeah. Maybe that is it. That put cop stink on somebody, wouldn't it, Johnny? Uh, you're something else, bud. You and your educated nose. <laughs> That's close, fellas. That was even too close for me. Well, that shouldn't be too hard to figure. Yeah, but what's it for? Did we tell him, Dobbsy? Oh, man, I couldn't tell my own name right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what we call our fun mobile. The next time the spades have a riot anyplace, we just drive right through, and we're going to blast anything that moves. Talk. You think so, huh? Where have you been? All those beautiful blacks got to do is shoot somebody, have a sit-in. Why should they riot when they don't even have to? You think I'm just talking, huh? Norm, you put that thing in there when you bought the wagon. They don't even make that model anymore. All right, come on. I'm calling your bluff right now. Anybody want to take a little run into town? Be getting dark soon. I'm willing if we're going to Wellington. Good a place as any. Frank, you drive. Dobbs is too drunk. How about you guys? Nah, it's crazy. It's nuts. That's what they said about the guys that founded this country. Yeah, but you can't just drive down the street shooting the spades. What about the cops? Might be a good dry run for Cambodia. Norm might teach you boys a few new tricks. Come on, we haven't had any fun in months. I honestly didn't think Norm had the guts to do it. S1 to S4. They're coming back in the station wagon. We'll pick them up and call in additional units as needed. Let's go back and have a little warm-up before we go on, huh? Yeah! What the fuck? Oh, there we go! S4, S1. It looks like they're moving back.
9J7 to control. Suspects traveling west on Pinewood Road, headed for Wellington, with Browning light machine gun live ammunition. Suspect's vehicle is green, 71 Ford station wagon. Request assistance. 9K7, that's a roger. I still think this is stupid. Well, why'd you come along then? Well, maybe talk some sense into your heads or something. Don't waste your time, kid. Just relax and enjoy it. It's gonna be dark soon on those streets. Man, that's it. You wanna hear something beautiful? You wanna know how we can do this and take all the risk out of it? Ah. I know a guy who will sell me some Willie Peters grenades. White phosphorus. A couple of those babies that turned the whole neighborhood into a tinderbox. <laughs> so with a belt, belt full of tracers. Hey, listen, man. We ride down the street popping with a machine gun. Somebody's bound to get a make on us. Grenades, I can put in delay fuses. By the time they blast, we'll be so far away, nobody know where they came from. <laughs> Damn, I like that. I really do. You said you couldn't call me from there anymore. Well, you see, I just had to. I've been dealing with the sickest bunch of people I ever met. Do you want to tell me about it? Uh, not until it's finished. When is that going to be, Earl? I don't know. How's Amy? She, um, she lost another tooth today. Did you give her a quarter? She asked for a dollar. <laughs> now, where did she get that from? Oh, the kids at school, I suppose. Didn't you tell her her daddy was only a cop? She knows that already. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it the way it sounded. Really, honey, believe me. Anything at all that you can tell me? I hate every stinking stick of furniture I'm looking at right now. Tell me what it looks like. Well, it's a chair over there that hasn't been cleaned since the day it was made. Which is probably before I was born. Let's see, over against the wall, we've got a gas heater, and I can smell that. And there's something that faintly resembles a desk over there in the corner. I wish I were there with you. You realize I'll be 30 years old next month? I got a question to ask you, Norm. Fire away. What do you think Bud Elwood invited me up to his ranch yesterday afternoon? Barbecue, I guess. No, I got the feeling there's more to it than that. Well, no one but, I'd say, he probably wants you to kill somebody. Who's in? Beats me. But if you're smart, you won't do it. Yeah, why not? Because I've got a much better hit in mind. What I'm talking about is a 180-degree switch. Instead of killing somebody who probably doesn't even deserve it, why not turn right around and kill the fella who wants it done? Well, you, you end up with guns, right? I could wholesale them out of here for at least 30,000 bucks. Now, how could you do that? Don't worry about it. I got a couple of buddies who own gun shops up near San Francisco. Can you trust them? They trust me, I trust them. Think about it, fellas. 10,000 bucks a piece. That's not bad for five minutes pleasant work, now is it? <laughs> Got a short memory, bud. I told you what had happened if ever you pointed one of those things at me again. I don't like surprises. 
When I saw you coming, I thought it might be cops. Driving this? Why not? They watch me all the time. They fly over in helicopters. They come up here dressed like male men. I could hold off an army from up here. So I took this place. Only one road up. Somebody tried to assault this hill, it'd be a slaughter. Come on inside. I'll fix you guys a drink. Drink. Oh, beer is fine, bud. Yeah, I'll have one too. Okay. Look, uh, we just saw Norm Scholler. Gutless slob. I knew he'd chicken out yesterday. Yeah, and maybe you know what he just told us. What are you talking about? He wants us to kill you, old buddy, and take your guns. Well, maybe you told him to say that, bud. See if we'd be trusted. Think I'd be sitting up here alone if that was the case? Are you? Search the house. <laughs> Look, this is no test, if that's what you think. Norm's had his eyes on my guns for a long time. He'd like to take up my group, too. As a matter of fact, the real truth is, he'd like to be Donald A. Bud Elwood. Does that bother you, Bud? Why should it? Look at the two of you. He makes you a proposition. You turn right around and tell me about it. Because you know where the power is. You know who's king of the hill. Am I right? Yeah, I guess you are. And just to show my gratitude, I'll make you a proposition of my own. What's that, Bud? There's somebody I want to see killed. Who? Thousand bucks in cash. Who is it, bud? First, let's see how strong the interest is. Hey, uh, money doesn't really grab us. What we need right now is five or six more choppers. Okay. We'll think about it. A couple of days. It still looks like a good deal. I don't see why we can't work out something to make us all happy people. Okay, fellas, now here's this camp. We're getting a lot of heat from upstairs to shut this thing down. What almost happened in Wellington has got a lot of people nervous. Yeah, I know. Especially a guy named Hoffman. I was born in Wellington, man. Anyway, the captain says we got to get to it and shut it right down. If anything pops in Wellington and it comes out that we knew about it in advance, we'd hear it all the way to City Hall. What's the problem as long as I keep stalling with the grenades? If they get drunk tonight, they might forget the whole conversation. I want Elwood on a murder conspiracy, man. Well, so do I. But that's taking a big chance. Give us one or two more days. Lieutenant, his group is probably responsible for six bombings. Hoffie's right. They could get drunk any night of the week and a lot of innocent people might die. Then what's the argument? Elwood. He's the only one who even resembles a leader. The only one with enough strength to keep the rest of them all together. I want to put him where he belongs and I want to keep him there for a long time. He's right, Lieutenant. We have to get him on a murder conspiracy charge. Give us till tomorrow afternoon, okay? Okay, that's it. Five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. It'd be cool, Hoffman. That's what all those parties say, don't they? Sweetheart, isn't she? Yeah, you got any more? One. You can have them both. And I'll throw in the Madsen. Your generosity rips me up, Elwood. I'm no millionaire, fellas. I can't pay you way above what this thing's worth. How are we ever going to know until you tell us who it is? Piece of flesh is a piece of flesh. Different prices, bud. If it's some bum on the street, then we'll do it cheap. Somebody important or famous, well, that's a different situation altogether. 
Okay. Listen to this. Harry W. Rosen. Hmm? Oh, come on. Listen, we spent half the time out of the country in the jungle someplace. I mean, I have Rosen, you know, ring a bell, Rosen. Harry W. Rosen happens to be one of the richest men in the state. He's a liberal, and he's a Jew, and he's got too much power. I want him killed. Just because of that? He's also a political fundraiser for the liberals and the pinkos. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have this fair housing and the spades stinking up our neighborhoods. If ever a person deserved to die, it's him. Well, it doesn't sound like an easy hit to me, but... I want you to kill him while he's asleep in bed. And I want it done with a German-made machine gun. Just for the irony, huh? I also want a sign left. I want it to say, revoke fair housing. I want it pinned to his forehead with a ten-penny nail. That's going to cost you about six choppers, bud. I'll give you the two Thompsons, the Mets, and I'll throw in the schmeiser you kill him with. Well, two and two all my life, bud's four. Said six. Okay. I'll toss in a fully automatic M2 carbine. That's five. And that's the bottom line. No. No, pass. The guy's got too much clout. Pass. Hey, hold it, will you? Yeah, that was a pretty good scene. Your acting's getting better, old buddy. Come on. Let you know first thing in the morning, okay? Okay. Hello? What time's the recital tomorrow? Do you think you can make it? Uh, I can't tell, but if things work out okay, maybe there's a chance. Yeah, Norm? Steve Fletcher. What's up? Oh, not too much, except we, uh... We got the fossil's grenades. Fantastic. I'll uh, have them delivered tomorrow morning to shop about 10. What do you mean delivered? Well, uh, Johnny, I got a little business to do up the coast, so uh, this guy will uh, bring him over. What's his name? Oh, you're, you'll recognize him by the uh, color of his face. I don't follow you. Well, it's somewhere between uh, Coco and Quarter. You're kidding. The guys. Yeah, I thought you might enjoy that. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I ever heard of in all my life. Want to hear something funnier? I was born in Wellington. Wellington? <laughs> Wait till I tell Dodd. Let all the boys in on it, will you? I mean, you can pull the same stunt you did on Johnny, you know what I mean? That way everybody will get a laugh. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Set? Yeah, I guess so. How long do you think it'll take? Give us about 10 minutes. If we haven't got them by then, you guys better come on up. Right. You know, Earl, I get the feeling sometimes, strange it sounds that you like these guys. Yeah, I guess in some ways they're no different than some of the guys I was brought up with. Matter of fact, my daddy was a bigot. In some ways, he reminds me of Bud. The difference is, though, in spite of it, he was a fine man. Tough as nails, thought nothing ever ought to change. But if a black man was in trouble, you know, laid off by the railroad or something, or his family was having a hard time, man, my daddy would be right there. I've even seen him take food off our own table. Sometimes we didn't have too much ourselves.
Bad, you know? Somebody's moving around up there by a window, but I can't tell who. Five more minutes. We told him 10 o'clock, didn't we? You sure did. It's a good thing neither one of you touched my guns. You'd both be dead right now. Hey, will you put that thing away, bud? I came up here to talk business. That's the deal. We're gonna do it. On whose terms? Four choppers in the M2 carbine. Hey, fellas. That's great. Uh, how about I just ask you one more thing? After you kill him, and put the note on his head, I want you to take some pictures. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I guess. You want the pictures, I guess I can take them. I just want to see that face, the way God meant it look. Yeah. Let's get up there. Every once in a while, I, I get an irresistible urge to blow something up. Yeah, you're really something, bud. When the urge hits me, there's only one way to get rid of it. Pretty good shooting, huh? You bet. <laughs> Listen, if you're any kind of host, you get us a beer or something. You know where it is. Get it yourselves. Hey, why are you guys so nervous? Well, right there, bud. What are you doing? The police officers, bud. The devil you are. You're gonna kill me and you're gonna steal my guns. Both of you are in this with show. You're doing his dirty work because he doesn't have the guts. Last, but certainly not least, the youngest member of our group, Miss Amy Gordy.